Hey guys, and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today I'm sharing Dollar Tree gift basket ideas. Tell all our friends, Merry Christmas. Dollar gift basket. <laughs> now I love making gift baskets with items from the Dollar Tree, and I make them for just about every season. Christmas baskets, Mother's Day gift baskets, Valentine's Day baskets, and of course, Easter baskets as well. If you'd like to see any of my gift basket videos, I'll go ahead and put a link to the playlist down below. But today, since the holidays are right around the corner, I'm focusing on Christmas baskets. Now is definitely the time to get to the Dollar Tree if you wanna find the best stuff. Because usually the best stuff goes quickly. Today I'm sharing four different gift basket ideas, including one for the friend who loves Christmas, one that's perfect for a tween girl, a teacher gift basket, and I've put together a starter kit for my friend who wants to start making fun lunges too. So if you're new to this channel, I invite you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now let's get started. I'm kicking things off with my Christmas themed basket. When I was putting together this basket, I had my friend Fallon in mind because I know she loves all things Christmas. And I would actually give this to her at the beginning of the season so that she can use these gifts throughout the month. Now for all of my baskets today, I'm going to be using these ones I found at the Dollar Tree. They're kind of small, but that's okay. I still have room for some awesome Dollar Tree finds and it's gonna help me stay on budget because I'm not gonna be able to put a ton of things in there. The first thing I picked up for this basket is this really awesome red truck with the Christmas tree sign. I know my friend Fallon loves the red truck, so I definitely wanted to pick this up for her. And speaking of the red truck, I also found this awesome mug Mug. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. This is actually a really nice mug. This is a lot like something you might find at Target, but there you'd be paying $3 instead of one. And of course, I couldn't pass up the red truck ornament, but beware, some of the glitter falls off of these. Now I love to include some kind of yummy treat in my baskets, so to go along with this adorable mug, I wanna put in some hot chocolate. And to go in the hot chocolate, I also want to include some candy canes. I love that combination of candy cane and hot cocoa. To me, it just says Christmas. Now I have a few more things for this gift basket, including some Christmas socks. But you guys, these aren't just regular socks. These are actually knee-high socks, which are really great to find for just a dollar. I also picked up a double pack of the peppermint fragrance sachets. And I like to put these in dresser drawers. It just helps them smell really good. And this one definitely smells like candy canes. And last but not least, I'm also throwing in a Christmas kitchen towel. They had so many cute ones to choose from at the Dollar Tree, but I picked this one that says gingerbread cookies. It has a little recipe on there. I know my friend Fallon is such a good cook. She shares so many recipes over on her channel, so I definitely think she'll like this towel. Now I almost forgot to show you these adorable salt and pepper shakers. It's Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Now as I'm filling these gift baskets, I wanted to share a couple of tips along the way. And my first tip is if you can remove the label or the sticker before you add it to the basket. It's just gonna make it look a lot nicer and you might not even be able to tell that these items are from the Dollar Tree at all if you remove the label. Now while I'm at the Dollar Tree, I also like to pick up everything I need for building these baskets, starting with lots of tissue paper. I love to use tissue paper in my gift baskets instead of just filler. I think it's less messy and it's very economical. You can get a huge pack of tissue paper at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. Next, I always start off my gift basket with the biggest item first and I like to put that in the back. And then to keep it balanced, the next thing I'm gonna put is this nice mug followed by the hot cocoa, but I can't fit the whole box of hot cocoa, so instead I'm gonna take out the packets and put a ribbon around them. This will definitely help fit more things in my basket and the presentation looks really festive. Next, I'm gonna roll up my sock and stick them down inside the mug, followed by some candy canes. Now I can't fit the whole box of candy canes in this basket, so instead I'm just gonna put seven candy canes. I'm gonna put six because she has six people in her family, 
and I'm gonna put one extra just in case any of the candy canes get broken. You guys, I really believe that gift baskets and gift giving around the holidays does not have to be expensive. It's all about the thought that you put into them. Next, I'm adding in Mr. and Mrs. Claus right in the front and I've added extra tissue paper underneath that spot to keep them nice and secure. That's gonna help keep them in the front. For the kitchen towel, I'm just gonna roll it up and stick it into the side. And then on the opposite side, to balance it all out, I'm gonna add in my little fragrance packets. And then right on top, I'm going to place the ornament. That is my favorite thing in this entire basket, so I'm gonna make sure it's right on top. Before I wrap up my gift baskets, I do like to add in a little bit of extra tissue here and there just to fill it all in, and it's gonna keep everything in place. And now it's time to wrap it up. The cellophane and the bows that I'm using today all came from the Dollar Tree, and you're going to need one roll of cellophane per basket. And I like to add these bows because they're reusable. My next basket is perfect for the tween in your life. I'm starting with an elf themed basket. The first item I picked up for this basket is this glittery unicorn sign. What tween doesn't love decorating her room? Next, I picked up these really great quality metallic decals. These are perfect for sticking on a smartphone or a tablet or a locker. They are super shiny, and I think that's supposed to be a unicorn on there. The next thing I found was this really awesome little makeup bag, and I chose this one because of the happy little pineapples on the outside. But they actually had several different designs at the Dollar Tree. And then I couldn't pass up this donut coin purse. This is perfect for taking lunch money, to school. I just love the sprinkles on there. The next item I picked up is also a donut. Well, this is actually lip gloss in the shape of a donut. It is adorable. And speaking of adorable, check out this hand sanitizer. It has a little pineapple on the outside and it also has the little hanger so she can hang it on her backpack and take it to school and clean her hands whenever she needs to. Now this next item is really cool. It's actually a picture hanging system. So it comes with little clips and a wire so she can hang up her artwork in her room or her locker. It's such a cute way to decorate. I love the fun colors. I'm also including this mirror. Now this looks like metal but it's actually plastic. So when she's playing with makeup or fixing her hair, she can use this. It totally reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. I love it. And then just for fun, I'm also throwing in this little Crush Yum. There's two little creatures in there and they're very squishy. You can squish them and stretch them. They're really fun. And now it's time to build our basket. So just like my first basket, I'm gonna remove all the tags. I'm gonna remove any stickers that are on there, any extra packaging, I'm just gonna take it off. One of the things that's fun for me about making gift baskets is you really have to play around with the items that you're putting in the basket to get them to look nice and to all fit. It's kinda of like a really fun game of Tetris. How much stuff can I fit in this basket? And can we make it look good? That's always the challenge. This next basket I think would be perfect for your kid's teacher, daycare provider, or your homeschool mom friend. Now I just fell in love with these first two items. In fact, I might just buy a second set for myself. These are little booklets by Crayola and they're full of year round crafts that are easy for kids to do, which is right up my alley. And like I said, perfect for teachers, daycare providers, homeschool moms. Anyone who spends time with little kids that love to craft. There are so many great ideas in here. Next, I have some really cute stationery. This first one comes with a calendar and a notepad, and it's got a magnet on the back. And then this next one is also a magnet. This would be perfect for sticking on a fridge to keep your grocery list going. And I picked this one because of the encouraging words on it. It says, every day is a good day. Sometimes I need a reminder of that as well. And of course, to go with it, a package of sticky notes. This one also has an encouraging phrase on there. It says, never stop looking up. Next up, I'm throwing in two different kinds of pens. I know as a mom, I'm always looking for a pen. These first ones are gel pens. They're really pretty. You can even use them to color an adult coloring book if you're into that. And then these ones are actually highlighters. I just love the colorful print on the outside. 
And then just a couple more things in this basket. I found this really pretty mug. This is a soft pink mug with a really nice design on the outside. I'm also including this pair of slipper socks. They are super soft on the outside. I love the purple color and it has little grippers to keep you from slipping. And then last but not least, what mom does not like some chocolate? These are little dark chocolate wafer cookies. If you've ever had these before, you'll know they're pretty tasty. So for this basket, I'm starting with some plain paper on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put my prettier paper on the top because that's the paper that's gonna be seen. And then I'm going to pack this one just like I did the other two baskets. Biggest items first, then your heavy item, and then fill in the rest. If you need to add more tissue paper to prop things up, you can definitely do that. Now, anytime you're working with a gift basket, don't be afraid to play around with it. I often will move things around, try different spaces to see what fits and looks the best. Now I just have to wrap her up. I'm going to add my reusable bow and it'll be ready for gifting. Next up, I have a basket that I'm super excited about because it is a fun lunge starter kit. You guys probably already know that I love making fun lunges too. The Dollar Tree really has a lot of really awesome items if you wanna make fun lunches. And I actually have a separate video on my top 10 Dollar Tree school lunch items. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it down below. But the first thing I've chosen for this gift basket is a little bento box. It has two different compartments and it also comes with the fork and the knife. Next, I have a smaller snack container. Now these actually come in a double pack at the Dollar Tree, but I can't fit both. So I'm gonna break them up and just put one into the gift basket. I'm also throwing in a pack of reusable food picks and these really fun treat containers. These look like Legos. But if you open it up, you can put a little treat inside. This will definitely make some fun lunches. And what's really cool is these actually stack together like Legos too. I'm also including this four pack of cookie cutters. These are great for cutting out sandwiches. I'm also adding some cupcake liners. I use these to divide food within my lunch box so the foods don't touch. And then I have one of my favorite lunch accessories. This is a travel dressing bottle. You could put salad dressing in there or ketchup, any kind of sauce you wanna send in your lunch can go in here. And then last but not least, I have more of my favorite containers. These are perfect for snacks or treats. I use these all the time in my lunches. This was definitely my most challenging basket because if I had space, I definitely would add in more stuff, but I tried to just put in the essentials. I definitely had to play around with these to get them all to fit. And I also went ahead and removed some of the packaging just because I think it makes it look a little nicer. And then I knew I couldn't fit all of these little containers in the basket. So what I did was I just took a handful of them and I put them all together and I stacked them inside each other so they would take up less space. Then I tied them together with a really pretty ribbon. This was really simple to do. The ribbon also came from the Dollar Tree, but I think it looks super cute. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to see more gift basket ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.